Heavenly Father, I know in my heart that you are sovereign and strong. I believe that your plans for me are good, and you have blessings in store for me as I follow you. I pray, Father, that you pour favor and blessings upon my life. Father Lord, often, when life pressure and things feel stressed, I tend to forget that the very God who created this entire universe, who holds the stars in place, and knows the exact number of hairs on my head, also knows my ways. That his favor rests on me as I seek after him first. Cover me, Lord, with your favor, as with a shield. Your word tells me that favor and blessings last for a lifetime and add no sorrows to it. Bless me abundantly, so that at all times, things will work together for my good. I pray, Lord, that I will find favor in your sight and in the sight of man. I pray that goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. Remember me, Lord, when you show favor to your people. Come to my aid when you save them. I pray, Lord, that you give me an extra measure of mercy in this life, no matter where I go or what I do. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 says that, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Bless me extravagantly, Lord, so that I can proclaim your excellence among all the nations. I pray for divine favor, not just in this season of my life, but all through my lifetime. I have faith that because of your divine favor, Lord, I will remain joyful in all circumstances. Help me to rely on you when I go through tough times and let your favor and blessings see me through. Give me the strength and faith to endure. I ask for your favor upon my family. They have been a blessing to me, so I pray that you enrich each one of them with your blessings and favor. Let them see your goodness and mercy all the days of their lives. Continue to watch over them and guide them towards you so they do not go astray. Bless me, Lord, with the blessings of my father, Abraham, David, and Isaac. Use me, Lord, as a point of contact to be a blessing unto others. I pray that evil cannot come near my dwelling because I am surrounded by the blessings and favor of God. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 33 to 34 says that, The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the righteous. He mocks proud mockers, but shows favor to the humble and oppressed. I pray, Lord, that you help me to humble myself to obtain your favor and blessings. Curse the house of the wicked one who have evil plans towards me. I receive heavenly blessings and favor and abundance from above. Heavenly Father, I know in my heart that you are sovereign and strong. I believe that your plans for me are good and you have blessings in store for me as I follow you. I pray, Father, that you pour favor and blessings upon my life. Father Lord, often, when life pressure and things feel stressed, I tend to forget that the very God who created this entire universe, who holds the stars in place, and knows the exact number of hairs on my head, also knows my ways. That his favor rests on me as I seek after him first. Cover me, Lord, with your favor, as with a shield. Your word tells me that favor and blessings last for a lifetime and add no sorrows to it. Bless me abundantly, so that at all times, things will work together for my good. I pray, Lord, that I will find favor in your sight and in the sight of man. 
I pray that goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. Remember me, Lord, when you show favor to your people. Come to my aid when you save them. I pray, Lord, that you give me an extra measure of mercy in this life, no matter where I go or what I do. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 says that, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Bless me extravagantly, Lord, so that I can proclaim your excellence among all the nations. I pray for divine favor, not just in this season of my life, but all through my lifetime. I have faith that because of your divine favor, Lord, I will remain joyful in all circumstances. Help me to rely on you when I go through tough times and let your favor and blessings see me through. Give me the strength and faith to endure. I ask for your favor upon my family. They have been a blessing to me, so I pray that you enrich each one of them with your blessings and favor. Let them see your goodness and mercy all the days of their lives. Continue to watch over them and guide them towards you so they do not go astray. Bless me, Lord, with the blessings of my father, Abraham, David, and Isaac. Use me, Lord, as a point of contact to be a blessing unto others. I pray that evil cannot come near my dwelling because I am surrounded by the blessings and favor of God. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 33 to 34 says that, The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the righteous. He mocks proud mockers, but shows favor to the humble and oppressed. O oh, great provider, I thank you for your blessings upon my life. I give you all the praise all the honor and all the glory. I thank you in advance for my financial prosperity. Lord God, my finances belong to you, and I know that everything that comes from you is good. The Bible tells me in Matthew 6, verse 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. Father, you are my everything, and I know that I am also very precious to you. You also said in Job 22 verse 21 that if I submit to you and be at peace with you, in this way will prosperity come to me. I surrender everything to you, Lord, and I ask that you take total control over my life and my finances. I cancel every form of stress and anxiety from my life because I know you will sustain me. Let your will be done in my finances. I will not be worried about my current financial status because I know you will give me exactly what I need and will keep my finances secure. I thank you for providing for me and for a divine breakthrough in my finances. My heart is at peace, Lord, because I know with you my finances are secured. O oh, great provider, I thank you for your blessings upon my life. I give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. I thank you in advance for my financial prosperity. Lord God, my finances belong to you, and I know that everything that comes from you is good. The Bible tells me in Matthew 6, verse 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. Father, you are my everything, and I know that I am also very precious to you. You also said in Job 22, verse 21, that if I submit to you 
and be at peace with you. In this way will prosperity come to me. I surrender everything to you, Lord, and I ask that you take total control over my life and my finances. I cancel every form of stress and anxiety from my life because I know you will sustain me. Let your will be done in my finances. I will not be worried about my current financial status because I know you will give me exactly what I need and will keep my finances secure. Yehovah Ere, Lord God, the provider of all my needs according to his riches in glory. I come to you as I am struggling today financially. I just cannot seem to make ends meet, Lord. My finances seem to be on its lowest peak and things that I need to cover are almost due for payment. You are the only source of hope I have now, Father. Your word says in Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 14 that when times are good, I should be happy. But when times are bad, I should consider that God has made the one as well as the other. Father, I know that you will come through for me in this time of difficulty. Father, I commit my job to your hands. I ask that you have dominion over my job. Let your will be done in my job. It is your desire for us that we will experience prosperity in all that we put our hands to do for there is a great need in this world. Lord, I desire to be in a position where I can give to every good work so that your kingdom may advance and lives can be transformed by your amazing love. Let your will be done in my job. Father, bless me with promotions and business ideas. Bless me with divine connections and business partnerships. Your word says in chapter 3 John, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. Father, order my steps into the provision that you, O oh God, have already granted me your child. Your word says also in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 that I should be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, I should make my request made known unto you. Father, I surrender my finances unto you. Come and show yourself strong in my finances. In the midst of this storm of debt and financial difficulty, I thank you for I still have food at this point, and I still have shelter over my head. I have absolute faith, trust and hope in you, O oh God, because I know you are going to turn this around for me. Thank you, Lord, for your favor upon me. Please give me financial wisdom and freedom to get out of debt. I may not see a way at this point, O oh Lord, but I know you will make a way to remove the burden of this debt. Give me wisdom and joy, and grant me the ability to be a good steward over all that you deliver into my hands. Continue to advance the work of those that do good work. Help me to continue to provide for those in need, both spiritually and physically. I declare stability and prosperity in my finances. I thank you, Father, for the victory you have given me in my finances. I thank you for the positive changes about to be manifested in my finances. Jehovah Ere, Lord God, the provider of all my needs, according to his riches in glory, I come to you as I am struggling today financially. I just cannot seem to make ends meet, Lord. My finances seem to be on its lowest peak and things that I need to cover are almost due for payment. You are the only source of hope I have now, Father. Your word says in Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 14 that when times are good, I should be happy. But when times are bad, I should consider that God has made the one as well as the other. Father, I know that you will come through for me in this time of difficulty. Father, I commit my job to your hands. I ask that you have dominion over my job. Let your will be done in my job. It is your desire for us that we will experience prosperity in all that we put our hands to do for there is a great need in this world. Lord, I desire to be in a position where I can give to every good work so that your kingdom may advance and lives can be transformed by your amazing love. Let your will be done in my job. Father, bless me with promotions and business ideas. 
Bless me with divine connections and business partnerships. Your word says in chapter 3 John, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. Father, order my steps into the provision that you, O God, have already granted me your child. Your word says also in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, that I should be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, I should make my request made known unto you. Father, I surrender my finances unto you. Come and show yourself strong in my finances. In the midst of this storm of debt and financial difficulty, I thank you for I still have food at this point, and I still have shelter over my head. I have absolute faith, trust and hope in you, O God, because I know you are going to turn this around for me. Thank you, Lord, for your favor upon me. Please give me financial wisdom and freedom to get out of debt. I may not see a way at this point, O Lord, but I know you will make a way to remove the burden of this debt. Give me wisdom and joy, and grant me the ability to be a good steward over all that you deliver into my hands. Continue to advance the work of those that do good work. Help me to continue to provide for those in need, both spiritually and physically. I declare stability and prosperity in my finances. Lord Jesus Christ, here I am today asking you to do what only you can do in my life and in my current situation. The Word of God tells me that you are the same yesterday, today and forever. Nothing is too small for you and no prayer is too big for you to handle. You are the God who performs miracles and blesses his children. Father, I humbly come before you to ask that you bless me with a financial blessing. I ask, Lord, that you would bless me with prosperity. Show me the gifts of abundance and guide me toward financial freedom. I ask that you assist me in all my decisions. Close the wrong doors and open all the right ones. Protect me from all evil and deliver me from my tendency to worry and be anxious as I wait on you. Show me today how you will fight for me. I look to you for counsel, Father. I ask that you give me the grace for a financial increase. Change the situation in my finances. Teach me to prosper in your way and not my way. Help me to delight myself in you. The Bible tells me in chapter 10 verse 22 says that your blessings bring wealth without painful toil. Let your blessings rain upon my finances, Lord. You are my financial support and I have confidence in you that I will succeed in everything I do. Your word also says in chapter 3 John verse 2 that you wish above all things that I will prosper and be in good health, even as my soul prospers. Your word has made me understand that the prosperity and good health is my portion as a child of God, and I claim it upon my life. Father, I know with you, my finances are stable and secure. Father, I put my trust in you, because you are my provider, and I know you will take care of me and make me prosperous. I ask that you deliver me from profitless labor and bless me with good business opportunities. Let my business attract profit at all times and expansion in all directions. I thank you, Father, for I know my finances is safe and secured with you by my side. Lord Jesus Christ, here I am today asking you to do what only you can do in my life and in my current situation. The Word of God tells me that you are the same yesterday, today and forever. Nothing is too small for you and no prayer is too big for you to handle. You are the God who performs miracles and blesses his children. Father, I humbly come before you to ask that you bless me with a financial blessing. I ask, Lord, that you would bless me with prosperity. Show me the gifts of abundance and guide me toward financial freedom. I ask that you assist me in all my decisions. Close the wrong doors and open all the right ones. Protect me from all evil and deliver me from my tendency to worry and be anxious as I wait on you. Show me today how you will fight for me. I look to you for counsel, Father. I ask that you give me the grace for a financial increase. 
Change the situation in my finances. Teach me to prosper in your way and not my way. Help me to delight myself in you. The Bible tells me in chapter 10 verse 22 says that your blessings bring wealth without painful toil. Let your blessings rain upon my finances, Lord. You are my financial support and I have confidence in you that I will succeed in everything I do. Your word also says in chapter 3 John verse 2 that you wish above all things that I will prosper and be in good health even as my soul prospers. Your word has made me understand that prosperity and good health is my portion as a child of God, and I claim it upon my life. Father, I know with you, my finances are stable and secure. Father, I put my trust in you, because you are my provider, and I know you will take care of me and make me prosperous. I ask that you deliver me from profitless labor and bless me with good business opportunities. Let my business attract profit at all times and expansion in all directions. Lord Jesus Christ, here I am today asking you to do what only you can do in my life and in my current situation. The Word of God tells me that you are the same yesterday, today and forever. Nothing is too small for you and no prayer is too big for you to handle. You are the God who performs miracles and blesses his children. Father, I humbly come before you to ask that you bless me with a financial blessing. I ask, Lord, that you would bless me with prosperity. Show me the gifts of abundance and guide me toward financial freedom. I ask that you assist me in all my decisions. Close the wrong doors and open all the right ones. Protect me from all evil and deliver me from my tendency to worry and be anxious as I wait on you. Show me today how you will fight for me. I look to you for counsel, Father. I ask that you give me the grace for a financial increase. Change the situation in my finances. Teach me to prosper in your way and not my way. Help me to delight myself in you. The Bible tells me in chapter 10 verse 22 says, that your blessings bring wealth without painful toil. Let your blessings rain upon my finances, Lord. You are my financial support, and I have confidence in you that I will succeed in everything I do. Your word also says in chapter 3 John verse 2 that you wish above all things that I will prosper and be in good health, even as my soul prospers. Your word has made me understand that prosperity and good health is my portion as a child of God, and I claim it upon my life. Father, I know with you, my finances are stable and secure. Father, I put my trust in you, because you are my provider, and I know you will take care of me and make me prosperous. I ask that you deliver me from profitless labor and bless me with good business opportunities. Let my business attract profit at all times and expansion in all directions. I thank you, Father, for I know my finances is safe and secured with you by my side. Lord Jesus Christ, here I am today asking you to do what only you can do in my life and in my current situation. The Word of God tells me that you are the same yesterday, today and forever. Nothing is too small for you, and no prayer is too big for you to handle. You are the God who performs miracles and blesses his children. Father, I humbly come before you to ask that you bless me with a financial blessing. I ask, Lord, that you would bless me with prosperity. Show me the gifts of abundance and guide me toward financial freedom. I ask that you assist me in all my decisions. Close the wrong doors and open all the right ones. Protect me from all evil and deliver me from my tendency to worry and be anxious as I wait on you. Show me today how you will fight for me. I look to you for counsel, Father. I ask that you give me the grace for a financial increase. Change the situation in my finances. Teach me to prosper in your way and not my way. Help me to delight myself in you. The Bible tells me in chapter 10 verse 22 says that your blessings bring wealth without painful toil. Let your blessings rain upon my finances, Lord. You are my financial support 
and I have confidence in you that I will succeed in everything I do. Your word also says in chapter 3 John verse 2 that, You wish above all things that I will prosper and be in good health, even as my soul prospers. Your word has made me understand that prosperity and good health is my portion as a child of God, and I claim it upon my life. Father, I know with you, my finances are stable and secure. Father, I put my trust in you, because you are my provider, and I know you will take care of me and make me prosperous. I ask that you deliver me from profitless labor and bless me with good business opportunities. Let my business attract profit at all times and expansion in all directions. It is good to always pray into your finances because money is a very important asset in our society today. When you are not financially stable, you sometimes end up doing things through foul means, doubting God, and also feeling that God has disappointed you. That is what the enemy wants, but God doesn't want that. He is the father of all riches. And so, as his children, we are automatically rich and equipped with all the resources we need. The Bible tells us in Haggai chapter 2, verse 8, that the silver is mine, the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. God is only waiting for you to ask Him, and He will do it because divine prosperity comes from Him, not forgetting that He has already given it to us. All you have to do is claim it with faith. Heavenly Father, I thank you for being so good to me. I thank you for your love and blessings you have showered upon my life. Gracious God, I put my finances into your hands. I pray that you take total control over my finances. Proverbs 10 verse 22 says that your blessings bring wealth without painful toil. Let your blessings rain upon my finances, Lord. You are my financial support, and I have confidence in you that I will succeed in everything I do. Your word said in 3 John chapter 2 that you wish above all things that I will prosper and be in good health even as my soul prospers. Your word has made me understand that prosperity and good health are my portion as a child of God, and I claim it upon my life. God of miracles, I know you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all I ask or think of, and I know you have already done it for me. Let your will be done in my life. It is good to always pray into your finances because money is a very important asset in our society today. When you are not financially stable, you sometimes end up doing things through foul means, doubting God, and also feeling that God has disappointed you. That is what the enemy wants, but God doesn't want that. He is the father of all riches. And so, as his children, we are automatically rich and equipped with all the resources we need. The Bible tells us in Haggai chapter 2, verse 8, that the silver is mine, the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. God is only waiting for you to ask him, and he will do it because divine prosperity comes from him, not forgetting that he has already given it to us. All you have to do is claim it with faith. Heavenly Father, I thank you for being so good to me. I thank you for your love and blessings you have showered upon my life. Gracious God, I put my finances into your hands. I pray that you take 
total control over my finances. Proverbs 10 verse 22 says that your blessings bring wealth without painful toil. Let your blessings rain upon my finances, Lord. You are my financial support, and I have confidence in you that I will succeed in everything I do. Your word said in 3 John chapter 2 that you wish above all things that I will prosper and be in good health even as my soul prospers. Your word has made me understand that prosperity and good health are my portion as a child of God, and I claim it upon my life. O oh Lord, I come before you just as I am. I thank you for your timely provisions in my life. I thank you for your protection upon my life, and I thank you for your endless blessings in my life. There's none like you, Lord, and there's none that can be compared unto you. I know that your provision is not based on my effort, but on the inheritance given to me through the death of your Son, Jesus Christ. And I thank you for that privilege. Mighty King, I know that it is your desire for me to encounter prosperity in everything that I put my hand to. I know that it is your desire to receive financial blessings in the job that I do. I ask that you bless the work of my hands. I ask that you bless me with promotion and business ideas. Bless me with divine connections and partnerships. Your word says in 3 John 1 verse 2, that you wish above all things that I will prosper and be in good health even as my soul prospers. I ask that you empower me with new creative ideas that will help in my job and so that I can also be a blessing to other people in need. I pray that you guide me and order my steps into the provision that you have already granted us your children and not in the systems of this world. Father, deliver me from debts and financial setbacks, and let your mighty hand rest upon my finances. I thank you because I know by your word that it is already done. I thank you for setting me free in my finances. I thank you for giving me peace in my finances. O oh Lord, I come before you just as I am. I thank you for your timely provisions in my life. I thank you for your protection upon my life, and I thank you for your endless blessings in my life. There's none like you, Lord, and there's none that can be compared unto you. I know that your provision is not based on my effort, but on the inheritance given to me through the death of your Son, Jesus Christ. And I thank you for that privilege. Mighty King, I know that it is your desire for me to encounter prosperity in everything that I put my hand to. I know that it is your desire to receive financial blessings in the job that I do. I ask that you bless the work of my hands. I ask that you bless me with promotion and business ideas. Bless me with divine connections and partnerships. Your word says in 3 John 1 verse 2 that you wish above all things that I will prosper and be in good health even as my soul prospers. I ask that you empower me with new creative ideas that will help in my job and so that I can also be a blessing to other people in need. I pray that you guide me and order my steps into the provision that you have already granted us your children and not in the systems of this world. Father, 
deliver me from debts and financial setbacks, and let your mighty hand rest upon my finances. Heavenly Father, I come before you today seeking your miraculous intervention in the area of my finances. I speak the blessings of God over my finances in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, please wipe every financial difficulty out of my life. Let your favor flow in abundance over my life. You said in your word that you wish above all things that I prosper and be in good health even as my soul prospers. Let your word be fulfilled in my life, Lord. Grant me a financial breakthrough. Let your anointing for prosperity be released upon my life. Bless the works of my hands and shut the mouth of the devourer against my finances. My health comes from you alone, Lord. Your word in 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verse 12, tells me that both riches and honor comes from you, and you reign over them all. Perform miracles in my finances. Let me see the overflow of your blessings in my life. Let my cup run over in thousandfolds. Father, Lord, I pray and ask you to open your windows of heaven and rain your blessings upon my life. I cast my financial burdens unto you, Lord. Wipe away my tears. Bless me, Lord, with prosperity from above. May your grace support, sustain, and supply all my needs according to your riches in Christ Jesus. Wealth and honor come from you, Father. Help me in my finances so that I would be able to help those in need. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, tells me that the blessings of the Lord makes me rich and add no sorrows to it. Bless me abundantly, Lord, that I may prosper in all that I do. I cancel every plan of the enemy against my finances. I declare that I will prosper and be in good health. Bless my business, Lord, and help it grow, flourish, and create great livelihood and finances for all those involved. I pray that you lead me to the opportunities that will bring me prosperity and success. I destroy every plan to prevent the growth of my finances. Psalm chapter 37, verses 23 to 24, tells me that the Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hands. Father Lord, please remove anything that is hindering the growth of my finances in Jesus' name. Grant me clever ideas to run my business in order to grow my finances, Lord. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3 says that, Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts will be established. Heavenly Father, I come into your presence today asking you to grant me good health and prosperity. You said in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Father, Lord, grant me good health and financial independence. I pray that you remove me from the clutches of incapability and that you will provide me with all the earnings that will enable me to take care of myself, family, and loved ones. I pray and commit whatever I do into your hands, Lord. Please establish my plans in Jesus' name. I know, Father, that you have great plans for me no matter what I am going through right now. Save me from anyone who wants me to live in good health and prosper in Jesus' name. I commit my entire body into your hand, Lord. Deliver me from every sickness and disease assigned against my life. I declare that my body is the temple of God, therefore Satan has no authority over me in Jesus' name. 
I will walk in good health with an abundance of God's prosperity. Bless my work, Lord, for your good and for your glory. Father, you have promised that if I commit whatever I do to you, then you will cause my plans to succeed. Grant me this miracle, Father. Give me success at all times and in every way. Please watch over my business, protect me from danger, and lead me on the path to prosperity and success. Fill me with all the fullness of you, Lord. Your word says that the blessings of the Lord bring wealth without painful toil for it. Health and honor come from you alone, for you rule over everything. Grant me long life, good health, and prosperity. Father Lord, you are the giver of all things. I will lack no good thing in my life in Jesus' name. I know that you have a better way for my life. I know that trusting in myself or following the world system is simply a recipe for disaster. I realize that my life is not my own and that I am not able to make successful plans without your gracious help. I am thankful that there is a better way to find prosperity, and that is your way. I will always give you the honor and praise, for you are the one who gives me the power to prosper and live in good health. Your word in Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6 says that, Behold, I will bring to it health and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. Let your word be fulfilled in my life, O Lord. Bless my bread and water and take sickness away from me. Bring healing to my flesh and refreshment to my bones that I may live in good health and prosper. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 tells me that you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the power to get wealth, that He may confirm His covenant that He swore to your fathers, as it is this day. Heavenly Father, I come before you today seeking your hand of protection over my life. You are a precious wing that shields me. Cover me with your precious blood, Father. Assign your angels to take charge of my life. Deliver me from every evil plan of the enemy concerning my life. Be my guardian and my keeper. Watch over my physical and emotional needs. Grant me the strength, Lord, to overcome every obstacle that comes my way. I put my entire trust in you, Lord. Psalm 23 verse 4 tells me that even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. You are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Fight all my battles for me, Lord. Deliver me from every stronghold that intends to destroy my life. I pray, Lord, that you will deliver me from any misfortune that will rise against me. I apply the blood of Jesus over my family and household. Save me from anything that will harm me, Lord. Be my light and my salvation. Take away every fear from my heart. Conceal me in your shelter on the day of evil. Be my refuge and my fortress, my only helper in times of trouble. Surround me with your light. Psalm 178, verse 8 to 10 says that, Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings from the wicked who are out to destroy me, from my mortal enemies who surround me. They close their callous hearts and their mouths speak with arrogance. Protect me, O Lord. Deliver me from all sicknesses and diseases. I speak the blood of Jesus over my life, family, business, and household Order my steps in the right direction in Jesus' name. 
I am grateful for your goodness and mercy upon my life. Fill my life with joy and laughter for the rest of my days. Grant me the clear direction in doing your will, that I may remain protected under your wings. Watch over me in every aspect of my life. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 tells me that no weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed and you shall confuse every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication from me, declares the Lord. Father Lord, rescue me from every evil deed and bring me safely into your heavenly kingdom. Glory be to your name forever. Your word says, Lord, that the fear of the Lord leads to life, and whoever has it rests satisfied. He will not be visited by harm. Heavenly Father, thank you for your continued presence with me. Thank you for your almighty wings, which cast an impenetrable shadow of protection. Thank you for going before me and covering me from behind. Thank you for choosing to be in my midst, for lifting my burdens, and securing the heavenly place you have prepared for me. Your divine words bring so much hope and comfort to my heart. Be my shelter and my tower. Psalm 91, verse 14 to 16, tells me that, Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hear my cry for protection, Lord. May your precious blood cover me. Holy Spirit, fill me, and your protection surround me and deliver me from all the forces of evil. Be my hiding place. Protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Keep me in your presence, Lord, safe under your protection. Keep me safe as the apple of your eye and hide me under the shadow of your wings. Protect me from trouble wherever I go and keep evil far from me. Open my eyes to see the temptations and evil in this world for what they are. Give me a discerning heart, eyes that can see clearly, and ears that can hear you. Help me resist the lure of worldly temptations that lead me from you. Help me to suit up in armor, to withstand the forces of evil. Put a hedge of protection around me. Help me will my thoughts to dwell on what is good, true, and positive. Take away all fears from my heart. You are a shield around me, strong in love, heavy with power, shaped with hope, and gilded with the truth. I will fear no evil, for you watch over me. You defend and deliver me. In this day, this hour, and moment, I put my trust in you. Psalm 18 verse 2 says, Yahweh is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God, my rock, in whom I take refuge. My shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower. Let your miraculous hands keep me safe from the snares of the wicked. Conceal me in your shelter on the day of trouble, and hide me under your shadow forever. I apply the blood of Jesus over my life and destiny. I declare that no evil shall befall me in Jesus' name. Be my light and my salvation. Thank you, Lord, for the great authority and protection you have given to me in the person of Jesus Christ. Even as I go out into the world, your promise remains true to me. Nothing shall, by any means, hurt me. 
All authority in heaven and earth has been given to you, Lord, leaving none for the devil and his angels. Thank you for your divine protection and covering. You have given your angels charge concerning me to guard me in all my ways. Send me your protection and peace against the chaos. May your grace cover and calm my heart even in the uncertainty. Send your spirit to show me that no matter what happens, my soul is at rest in the love and mercy of Christ. Your word tells me that the righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Deliver me from all my troubles, Lord. Heavenly Father, I come before you today seeking to find safety in you. I pray that you keep me safe from all the dangers of this world. May your Holy Spirit invade my surrounding, keeping me safe from all manner of evil. Be the shepherd of my soul. I am safe in your arms, and my life is hidden by your precious blood. I am grateful for your angels that watch over me, preventing evil from coming close to my dwelling. Father, Lord, when I look upon the state of this world, I often fear. I ask that you keep me and my family safe. Help me to feel that you are my only safe place where I can enjoy your word freely and worship you. Be my hiding place, Lord. Protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Psalm 91 verses 1 to 2 says, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Cover me with your feathers, Lord, and let me find safety under your wings. Keep me safe from the craftiness of the wicked and save me from their evil ways. You are the omnipresent help in times of trouble. I pray for safety from evildoers. Keep me far from their eyes. Lord, I don't often know what to do in situations in which I feel unsafe or uncertain. I know that you, however, hold my life and purpose within your loving hands. Remind me of your goodness and faithfulness, and I ask for guidance now as I enter a circumstance in which I don't know my next course of action. Lord, help me tear down the walls I've built and empower me to trust in your safety of my heart. Psalm 16 verses 8 to 9 says, I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure. Grant me safety in all my ways, Lord. My trust is in you only. I declare that I shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that wastes at noonday, for the Lord is with me. He will deliver and keep me safe. Go before me, Lord, and remove every evil obstacle that may cause me harm. Let your goodness and mercy follow me for the rest of my life. May I continue to find safety in you alone, Lord. Be ahead of me, Lord, smoothing my path, protecting and blessing every step I take. I put a hedge of protection around me and my household. Heavenly Father, thank you for your continued presence with me. Thank you for your almighty wings, which cast an impenetrable shadow of protection. Thank you for going before me and covering me from behind. Thank you for choosing to be in my midst, for lifting my burdens and securing the heavenly place you have prepared for me. Your divine words bring so much hope and comfort to my heart. Be my shelter and my tower. Psalm 91 
verse 14 to 16, tells me that, Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hear my cry for protection, Lord. May your precious blood cover me. Holy Spirit, fill me, and your protection surround me and deliver me from all the forces of evil. Be my hiding place. Protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Keep me in your presence, Lord, safe under your protection. Keep me safe as the apple of your eye and hide me under the shadow of your wings. Protect me from trouble wherever I go and keep evil far from me. Open my eyes to see the temptations and evil in this world for what they are. Give me a discerning heart, eyes that can see clearly, and ears that can hear you. Help me resist the lure of worldly temptations that lead me from you. Help me to suit up in armor, to withstand the forces of evil. Put a hedge of protection around me. Help me will my thoughts to dwell on what is good, true, and positive. Take away all fears from my heart. You are a shield around me, strong in love, heavy with power, shaped with hope, and gilded with the truth. I will fear no evil, for you watch over me. You defend and deliver me. In this day, this hour, and moment, I put my trust in you. Psalm 18 verse 2 says, Yahweh is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my high tower. Let your miraculous hands keep me safe from the snares of the wicked. Conceal me in your shelter on the day of trouble, and hide me under your shadow forever. I apply the blood of Jesus over my life and destiny. I declare that no evil shall befall me in Jesus' name. Be my light and my salvation. Thank you, Lord, for the great authority and protection you have given to me in the person of Jesus Christ. Even as I go out into the world, your promise remains true to me. Nothing shall, by any means, hurt me. All authority in heaven and earth has been given to you, Lord, leaving none for the devil and his angels. Thank you for your divine protection and covering. You have given your angels charge concerning me to guard me in all my ways. Send me your protection and peace against the chaos. May your grace cover and calm my heart even in the uncertainty. Send your spirit to show me that No matter what happens, my soul is at rest in the love and mercy of Christ. Your word tells me that the righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Deliver me from all my troubles, Lord. Heavenly Father, I come before you today in the powerful name of Jesus. You deserve to be praised and adored. I am grateful for your unconditional love and mercy. I ask for your healing power over my life today. Your word in Psalm 103, verses 1 to 3, says that, I remember all your benefits, Lord. You forgave all my sins and healed me of my diseases. You redeemed my life from destruction, and you crowned me with loving kindness and tender mercies. Father, Lord, you healed the brokenhearted and bind their wounds. I ask for your healing hands over my life in the name of Jesus. Cure my pains and sorrows, Lord. 
I cry out to you, Father. Save and heal me from all sicknesses. Mend my broken heart and restore joy to my heart. Bring health to my body and soul. Heal me, Lord, and reveal to me the abundance of your peace. Your word in John chapter 3, verse 16, tells me that, For God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Lord, I know that you love me so much. That is why you sent your beloved Son to die for my sake and take all sicknesses and diseases far from my dwelling. I believe in your Son. I know that I have redemption through his blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. I declare that by his stripes I am healed. Father Lord, I declare that the enemy has no authority over my life. I refuse to give him a foothold over my health and entire body in the mighty name of Jesus. I submit myself before you, Father. I present my body and soul to you as a living sacrifice. Protect and preserve my health. Let the wicked flee far away from me. Renew my mind according to your word in Romans chapter 12, verse 3, so that I will experience your good, acceptable, and perfect will. Father Lord, I destroy all evil spirits, causing sicknesses in my mind and body in Jesus' name. I bind any evil fighting against the free flow of God's healing power in my life. I lose into my life the mighty healing power of God through faith in Jesus' finished work on the cross. I declare that I am free from all kinds of ailments in Jesus' name. I decree that I am totally healed in Jesus' name. Father Lord, I believe that your ultimate plan for my life is to be in good health, both physically, mentally, and spiritually. Pour out healing over my heart and body. Touch me with your healing hands, O Lord, and restore me to full health. Lord, if you can bring your glory through your healing power, then please heal me right now. Heavenly Father, I come to you today for healing. I ask you to help me overcome every health condition that I am facing in my life. Help me to deal with this burden that threatens to oppress me. Break every power of sickness, disease, infirmities in Jesus' name. Let your healing power flow to every part of my body and bring healing and strength. You are a great healer and my only source of life and health. I receive strength from above to break free from every pain in Jesus' name. Let your healing power begin to manifest in my life in Jesus' name. Psalm 75 verse 26 tells me that my body and my heart may fail, but God is my heart's rock and my share forever. Be my rock and my fortress, O Lord. I put my absolute trust in you to bring health to my body and soul. I release the anointing power of God over my body right now. I speak life into every dead cell in my body in Jesus' name. I command everything that is not functioning well in my body to receive healing and begin to function well in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that no power of sickness shall overcome me in Jesus' name. Father Lord, you are great and won't allow me to be tempted beyond my abilities. I pray that you grant me the grace to withstand every test in Jesus' name. I pray for boldness and courage to overcome every sickness and pain. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 tells me that, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Thank you, Lord 
for saving me on the cross of Calvary. Mend and heal what is broken within me. I believe you have already provided my healing. Let the warmth of your healing pass through my body, restoring health and life. Grant me spiritual healing in my mind and soul. Deliver me, Lord, from every evil attack of the enemy against my health. I pray, Father, that you will break every evil chain functioning against my health and my healing process. I take authority over every pain and disease, and I command it to go right now in Jesus' name. Let your life-giving power flow into the depths of my soul. I apply your blood over my life, family, and the entire household. I break every chain of sickness in Jesus' name. I declare that I am healed in Jesus' name. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6 says that, Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and let them enjoy abundance of peace and security. Bring healing to my body, Lord, and grant me peace. Continue to strengthen me, Lord, as I await my healing. Deliver me from every spirit and set me free. I ask for freedom in all areas concerning my health. I receive divine healing from above. I present my body to you as a living sacrifice, Lord. I bind all evil spirits in my life that are causing sickness in my body and mind. I halt their actions and cast them out in Jesus' name. I believe, Lord, that I have redemption through your precious blood. Surround me with your supernatural peace and strength. I command healing to take over my body. Heavenly Father, I come to you today for supernatural blessings in the area of my finances. Wipe out every financial struggle in my life. I believe, Lord, that you will meet all my needs according to your glorious riches. Your word in Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 tells me, But you will remember the Lord your God, for it is He that gives you the power to get wealth, that He may establish His covenant, which He swore unto your fathers, as it is this day. Father, Lord, please let your blessings flow in greater measures in my finances. Increase the works of my hands and grant me more income in my business. I release upon my life financial greatness in Jesus' name. Uphold my finances and make them increase. Let the doors of new financial opportunities be opened unto me. I commit my works into your hands, Lord. Establish my business so that my finances will grow stronger. Lord Jesus, I come to you for your supernatural blessings. Let your blessings overshadow my life. Give me strength to overcome every obstacle, Lord. Lighten my load and carry my burden. I pray, Lord, that you cause me to see the reward of the wicked one who wants curses for my life. Command your angels, Lord, to take up their position around me. Let them come with words of love and comfort, strength and power. Bless me, Lord, with real people who will love and support me. People who will stand by me and help me. Bless me with an abundance of love and let it flow through my household. Let me rise every morning with joy and retire at night in victory for the rest of my life. I rebuke every trace of lack in my life. Let me run, Lord, and not be weary. Bless me with strength and not weakness. Let me be like the tree planted by the rivers of living water. Bless me, Lord, with success and all that is mine. May those who sought my demise see me rise in Jesus' name. 
I declare that I will stand and not withstand. I put on the whole armor of God. I pray, Father, that I will not fall to the devices of the enemy. I declare that my steps are ordered by the Most High God. I decree that my days ahead will be far better than the days behind me in Jesus' name. Your word in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 7 says that the memory of the righteous is a blessing, but the name of the wicked will rot. I pray, Lord, that you destroy every wicked fellow who does not want to see me blessed and prosperous in Jesus' name. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in God. So bless me, Lord, as I look to you as my refuge and my fortress. Your word says, Lord, that you open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. I declare that my needs are satisfied in Jesus' name. I receive the blessings of the Most High God. It is written in Psalm chapter 146, verse 5, that Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord our God. I am a blessing because my help cometh from the Lord, the Creator of heaven and earth. Let my ways please you, Lord, so that you will make even my enemies be at peace with me. Bless me with all joy and peace in living, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit I may abound in hope. Command your heavenly blessings on me, Lord. Bless me in the land that you have given me. Lord Jesus, I come to you for your supernatural blessings. Let your blessings overshadow my life. Give me strength to overcome every obstacle, Lord. Lighten my load and carry my burden. I pray, Lord, that you cause me to see the reward of the wicked one who wants curses for my life. Command your angels, Lord, to take up their position around me. Let them come with words of love and comfort, strength and power. Bless me, Lord, with real people who will love and support me. People who will stand by me and help me. Bless me with an abundance of love and let it flow through my household. Let me rise every morning with joy and retire at night in victory for the rest of my life. I rebuke every trace of lack in my life. Let me run, Lord, and not be weary. Bless me with strength and not weakness. Let me be like the tree planted by the rivers of living water. Bless me, Lord, with success and all that is mine. May those who sought my demise see me rise in Jesus' name. I declare that I will stand and not withstand. I put on the whole armor of God. I pray, Father, that I will not fall to the devices of the enemy. I declare that my steps are ordered by the Most High God. I decree that my days ahead will be far better than the days behind me in Jesus' name. Your word in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 7 says that the memory of the righteous is a blessing, but the name of the wicked will rot. I pray, Lord, that you destroy every wicked fellow who does not want to see me blessed and prosperous in Jesus' name. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in God. So bless me, Lord, as I look to you as my refuge and my fortress. Your word says, Lord, that you open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. I declare that my needs are satisfied in Jesus' name. I receive the blessings of the Most High God. It is written in Psalm chapter 146, verse 5, that Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord our God. 
I am a blessing because my help cometh from the Lord, the Creator of heaven and earth. Lord Jesus, I come to you for your supernatural blessings. Let your blessings overshadow my life. Give me the strength to overcome every obstacle, Lord. Lighten my load and carry my burden. I pray, Lord, that you cause me to see the reward of the wicked one who wants curses for my life. Command your angels, Lord, to take up their position around me. Let them come with words of love and comfort, strength and power. Bless me, Lord, with real people who will love and support me. People who will stand by me and help me. Bless me with an abundance of love and let it flow through my household. Let me rise every morning with joy and retire at night in victory for the rest of my life. I rebuke every trace of lack in my life. Let me run, Lord, and not be wary. Bless me with strength and not weakness. Let me be like the tree planted by the rivers of living water. Bless me, Lord, with success and all that is mine. May those who sought my demise see me rise in Jesus' name. I declare that I will stand and not withstand. Let my ways please you, Lord, so that you will make even my enemies be at peace with me. Bless me with all joy and peace in living, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit I may abound in hope. Command your heavenly blessings on me, Lord. Bless me in the land that you have given me. I ask that you bless me bountifully and abundantly, that it will blow beyond the minds of humans. I declare that failure has no place in my life, for I am blessed and uncommonly favored. Let your blessings overtake me everywhere I go. Open doors of divine golden opportunities for me. Surround my life, Lord Jesus, with every good thing I need to succeed in life. I believe, Christ Jesus, that without your blessings and favor in my life, I cannot succeed. Have mercy on me and open your windows of blessings and favor unto me. I pray for favor in the sight of those needed for me to achieve my blessings. Lift me from grace to grace and from strength to strength. Adorn my life with blessings, favor, and grace. Let people see me, Lord, and wonder at the mighty works of your hands. Cause me to excel in all that I do, Lord Jesus. I want to see your favor manifested in my life. Establish me in your highest and best purposes for my life. Fill my life with endless blessings and favor. Overflow my life with joy, peace, and love. Son of the Most High God, I believe that your blessings are meant to protect and guide me to the path of righteousness and give me hope. Matthew chapter 6 verse 30 to 33 says that but if God so clothes the grass of the field which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown in the oven will he not much clothe you O you of little faith therefore do not be anxious saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear for the Gentiles seek after all these things and your Heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Help me to seek you, Christ Jesus, for you died on the cross for my sin. Do not withhold any good thing from me, Lord. Bless and increase me abundantly. You are the giver of all good and wonderful things. Favor me, Lord Jesus, and bless me. Increase me financially, spiritually, and physically. Let your grace deliver me from those who seek my downfall and 
those who seek to destroy me. Thank you, Christ Jesus, for your endless blessings and favor. Lord Jesus, Son of the Most High God, I desire to receive your favor and blessings in my life. Every good and perfect gift comes from you. Increase my joy today as I expect your blessings and favor. I ask that you bless me bountifully and abundantly, that it will blow beyond the minds of humans. I declare that failure has no place in my life, for I am blessed and uncommonly favored. Let your blessings overtake me everywhere I go. Open doors of divine golden opportunities for me. Surround my life, Lord Jesus, with every good thing I need to succeed in life. I believe, Christ Jesus, that without your blessings and favor in my life, I cannot succeed. Have mercy on me and open your windows of blessings and favor unto me. I pray for favor in the sight of those needed for me to achieve my blessings. Lift me from grace to grace and from strength to strength. Adorn my life with blessings, favor, and grace. Let people see me, Lord, and wander at the mighty works of your hands. Cause me to excel in all that I do, Lord Jesus. I want to see your favor manifested in my life. Establish me in your highest and best purposes for my life. Fill my life with endless blessings and favor. Overflow my life with joy, peace, and love. Son of the Most High God, I believe that your blessings are meant to protect and guide me to the path of righteousness and give me hope. Matthew chapter 6 verse 30 to 33 says that, But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown in the oven, will he not much clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Help me to seek you, Christ Jesus, for you died on the cross for my sin. Do not withhold any good thing from me, Lord. Bless and increase me abundantly. You are the giver of all good and wonderful things. Favor me, Lord Jesus and bless me. Heavenly Father, I come before you today in the powerful name of Jesus. You deserve to be praised and adored. I am grateful for your unconditional love and mercy. I ask for your healing power over my life today. Your word in Psalm 103 verses 1 to 3 says that, I remember all your benefits, Lord. You forgave all my sins and healed me of my diseases. You redeemed my life from destruction, and you crowned me with loving kindness and tender mercies. Father Lord, you healed the brokenhearted and bind their wounds. I ask for your healing hands over my life in the name of Jesus. Cure my pains and sorrows, Lord. I cry out to you, Father. Save and heal me from all sicknesses. Mend my broken heart and restore joy to my heart. Bring health to my body and soul. Heal me, Lord, and reveal to me the abundance of your peace. Your word in John chapter 3, verse 16, tells me that, For God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Lord, I know that you love me so much. That is why you sent your beloved Son to die for my sake and take all sicknesses and diseases far from my dwelling. I believe in your Son. I know that I have redemption through his blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. I declare that by his stripes 
I am healed. Father Lord, I declare that the enemy has no authority over my life. I refuse to give him a foothold over my health and entire body in the mighty name of Jesus. I submit myself before you, Father. I present my body and soul to you as a living sacrifice. Protect and preserve my health. Let the wicked flee far away from me. Renew my mind according to your word in Romans chapter 12, verse 3, so that I will experience your good, acceptable, and perfect will. Father Lord, I destroy all evil spirits, causing sicknesses in my mind and body in Jesus' name. I bind any evil fighting against the free flow of God's healing power in my life. I lose into my life the mighty healing power of God through faith in Jesus' finished work on the cross. I declare that I am free from all kinds of ailments in Jesus' name. I decree that I am totally healed in Jesus' name. Father Lord, I believe that your ultimate plan for my life is to be in good health, both physically, mentally, and spiritually. Pour out healing over my heart and body. Touch me with your healing hands, O Lord, and restore me to full health. Lord, if you can bring your glory through your healing power, then please heal me right now. Heavenly Father, I come to you today for healing. I ask you to help me overcome every health condition that I am facing in my life. Help me to deal with this burden that threatens to oppress me. Break every power of sickness, disease, infirmities in Jesus' name. Let your healing power flow to every part of my body and bring healing and strength. You are a great healer and my only source of life and health. I receive strength from above to break free from every pain in Jesus' name. Let your healing power begin to manifest in my life in Jesus' name. Psalm 75 verse 26 tells me that my body and my heart may fail, but God is my heart's rock and my share forever. Be my rock and my fortress, O Lord. I put my absolute trust in you to bring health to my body and soul. I release the anointing power of God over my body right now. I speak life into every dead cell in my body in Jesus' name. I command everything that is not functioning well in my body to receive healing and begin to function well in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that no power of sickness shall overcome me in Jesus' name. Father Lord, you are great and won't allow me to be tempted beyond my abilities. I pray that you grant me the grace to withstand every test in Jesus' name. I pray for boldness and courage to overcome every sickness and pain. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 tells me that, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Thank you, Lord, for saving me on the cross of Calvary. Mend and heal what is broken within me. I believe you have already provided my healing. Let the warmth of your healing pass through my body, restoring health and life. Grant me spiritual healing in my mind and soul. Deliver me, Lord, from every evil attack of the enemy against my health. I pray, Father, that you will break every evil chain functioning against my health and my healing process. I take authority over every pain and disease, and I command it to go right now in Jesus' name. Let your life-giving power flow into the depths of my soul. I apply your blood over my life, family, and the entire household. I break every chain of sickness 
in Jesus' name. I declare that I am healed in Jesus' name. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6 says that, Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and let them enjoy abundance of peace and security. Bring healing to my body, Lord, and grant me peace. Continue to strengthen me, Lord, as I await my healing. Deliver me from every spirit and set me free. I ask for freedom in all areas concerning my health. I receive divine healing from above. I present my body to you as a living sacrifice, Lord. I bind all evil spirits in my life that are causing sickness in my body and mind. I halt their actions and cast them out in Jesus' name. I believe, Lord, that I have redemption through your precious blood. Surround me with your supernatural peace and strength. I command healing to take over my body. Heavenly Father, I come before you today to receive your special favor in my life. I'm thankful for your constant love and care. Release your favor upon my life today. Let your oil favor fall on me. Your favor attracts good things into my life. Let your divine favor change my situation for good. I pray for uncommon favor that is beyond every human imagination. Let your divine favor lead me to excel in all that I do. Increase my faith in you, Lord, that I may see your favor in my life. Favor of God, please turn me from a nobody into a somebody. I shake out every disfavor in my life in Jesus' name. I pray for physical and spiritual elevation, Lord. Elevate me from lower ground to higher ground. Lord, your word in Psalm chapter 84 verse 11 tells me that the Lord is our protector and glorious King, blessing us with kindness and honor. He does not refuse any good thing to those who do what is right. Bestow your special favor upon me, Lord. Release fresh favor upon my life. I ask, Lord, that I will find favor in your sight. Let me be accepted wherever I go. Grant me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be able to do exploits. Lord, please, with your special favor upon my life, help me to meet great people who will help me attain all my dreams. Make me victorious in all that I do. I receive unexpected blessings for my life. I declare that I am blessed and uncommonly favored. Lord, please open supernatural doors unto me. Increase me exceedingly, abundantly, and far above and beyond every human expectation. I speak victory over my life, and I declare abundant joy upon my household. Thank you, Lord, for your very special favor at work in my life. Heavenly Father, I come before you today to receive your special favor in my life. I'm thankful for your constant love and care. Release your favor upon my life today. Let your oil favor fall on me. Your favor attracts good things into my life. Let your divine favor change my situation for good. I pray for uncommon favor that is beyond every human imagination. Let your divine favor lead me to excel in all that I do. Increase my faith in you, Lord, that I may see your favor in my life. Favor of God, please turn me from a nobody into a somebody. I shake out every disfavor in my life in Jesus' name. 
I pray for physical and spiritual elevation, Lord. Elevate me from lower ground to higher ground. Lord, your word in Psalm chapter 84 verse 11 tells me that the Lord is our protector and glorious King, blessing us with kindness and honor. He does not refuse any good thing to those who do what is right. Bestow your special favor upon me, Lord. Release fresh favor upon my life. I ask, Lord, that I will find favor in your sight. Let me be accepted wherever I go. Grant me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be able to do exploits. Lord, please, with your special favor upon my life, Help me to meet great people who will help me attain all my dreams. Make me victorious in all that I do. I receive unexpected blessings for my life. I declare that I am blessed and uncommonly favored. Lord, please open supernatural doors unto me. Increase me exceedingly, abundantly, and far above and beyond every human expectation. Heavenly Father, I come before you today to receive your favor and blessings for my life. Your word makes me understand that the blessings of the Lord makes one rich and adds no sorrows. Bless me with all your heavenly blessings so that I will prosper in all my ways. Lift up your countenance upon me Multiply my blessings and favor in thousand folds. Satisfy me with your unlimited favor and blessings. Bless me with all the heavenly blessings you have in store for me. Lord, I command every door that leads to my breakthroughs and blessings to be opened for me right now in Jesus' name. Direct my steps into the right direction, Lord. Bless me with the blessings of my father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bless me with genuine people who will love and support me. Lord, your word in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 33 to 34 tells me that the Lord puts a curse on the homes of the wicked but blesses the homes of the righteous. He has no use for conceited people, but shows favor to those who are humble. Father, Lord, I pray that you will grant me the grace to remain humble in order to qualify for your favor and blessings. I believe, Lord, that your plans for me are good and you have an abundance of blessings in store for me. Favor me greatly in all that I do. Bless me extravagantly, Lord, that I can proclaim your excellence among all the nations. Let your favor reign in all areas of my life, not just for a short while, but all through my lifetime. Use me, Lord, as a point of contact to be a blessing unto others. Enrich me with your endless favor and blessings. Take total control over the affairs of my life, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your favor and blessings at work in my life. Heavenly Father, I come before you today to receive your favor and blessings for my life. Your word makes me understand that the blessings of the Lord makes one rich and adds no sorrows. Bless me with all your heavenly blessings so that I will prosper in all my ways. Lift up your countenance upon me. Multiply my blessings and favor in thousand folds. Satisfy me with your unlimited favor and blessings. Bless me with all the heavenly blessings you have in store for me. Lord, 
I command every door that leads to my breakthroughs and blessings to be opened for me right now in Jesus' name. Direct my steps into the right direction, Lord. Bless me with the blessings of my father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bless me with genuine people who will love and support me. Lord, your word in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 33 to 34 tells me that the Lord puts a curse on the homes of the wicked, but blesses the homes of the righteous. He has no use for conceited people, but shows favor to those who are humble. Father, Lord, I pray that you will grant me the grace to remain humble in order to qualify for your favor and blessings. I believe, Lord, that your plans for me are good and you have an abundance of blessings in store for me. Favor me greatly in all that I do. Bless me extravagantly, Lord, that I can proclaim your excellence among all the nations. Let your favor reign in all areas of my life, not just for a short while, but all through my lifetime. Use me, Lord, as a point of contact to be a blessing unto others. Enrich me with your endless favor and blessings. Take total control over the affairs of my life, Lord. Heavenly Father, I come before your throne of grace today. I'm in need of your favor and blessings in my life. Let my life be filled with your wonderful blessings everywhere I go. I commit my ways into your hands, Lord. I pray you to favor me among my peers. Let everything I lay my hands on be fruitful and successful. Make me the head, but not the tail. I pray that I come out the best in all that I do. You have promised that you are able to bless me at all times. Supply all my needs according to your riches in Christ Jesus. Let my blessings be manifested in alignment with your will for my life. I pray for your blessings to be seen at the works of my hands. Let everything that I do multiply and be fruitful. Open your windows of heaven and shower me with your blessings. Be my light and my salvation, Lord. Pour out your blessings upon me that I may see your beauty, feel your love, know your wisdom and experience your power. Please lead me on the path to prosperity and success. Help me to abide in you and experience your favor. Thank you that you make known your love and your purposes will stand. Your plans will not fail. Your word says that the blessings of the Lord bring favor and breakthrough. Let your blessings overflow in my life. Increase my faith in you, Lord, that I may experience your blessings. Psalm 119 verses 1 to 3 says that Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong, but walk in his ways. Help me to seek you and walk in your ways, Lord, so that I will experience your wonderful blessings in my life. I declare that I am blessed and wonderfully favored. The favor of God is upon me everywhere I go. I pray, Father, that your face will continually shine upon me. Let your favor and your glory be upon me. Fill me with your supernatural favor, Lord. You are able to do far more than all that I ask or can ever imagine. Transform my life through your favor and blessings. May your grace, mercy, and peace be with me in truth and love. Psalm 90 verse 17 says, 
let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. I am thankful for your favor in my life. I declare that everywhere that I go, your favor will shine upon my life. Thank you for your favor and blessings in my life. Heavenly Father, I come before your throne of grace today. I'm in need of your favor and blessings in my life. Let my life be filled with your wonderful blessings everywhere I go. I commit my ways into your hands, Lord. I pray you to favor me among my peers. Let everything I lay my hands on be fruitful and successful. Make me the head but not the tail. I pray that I come out the best in all that I do. You have promised that you are able to bless me at all times. Supply all my needs according to your riches in Christ Jesus. Let my blessings be manifested in alignment with your will for my life. I pray for your blessings to be seen at the works of my hands. Let everything that I do multiply and be fruitful. Open your windows of heaven and shower me with your blessings. Be my light and my salvation, Lord. Pour out your blessings upon me that I may see your beauty, feel your love, know your wisdom and experience your power. Please lead me on the path to prosperity and success. Help me to abide in you and experience your favor. Thank you that you make known your love and your purposes will stand. Your plans will not fail. Your word says that the blessings of the Lord bring favor and breakthrough. Let your blessings overflow in my life. Increase my faith in you, Lord, that I may experience your blessings. Psalm 119 verses 1 to 3 says that, Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong, but walk in his ways. Help me to seek you and walk in your ways, Lord, so that I will experience your wonderful blessings in my life. I declare that I am blessed and wonderfully favored. The favor of God is upon me everywhere I go. I pray, Father, that your face will continually shine upon me. Let your favor and your glory be upon me. Fill me with your supernatural favor, Lord. You are able to do far more than all that I ask or can ever imagine. Transform my life through your favor and blessings. May your grace, mercy, and peace be with me in truth and love. Psalm 90 verse 17 says, Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Heavenly Father, I come before your throne of grace today. I'm in need of your favor and blessings in my life. Let my life be filled with your wonderful blessings everywhere I go. I commit my ways into your hands, Lord. I pray you to favor me among my peers. Let everything I lay my hands on be fruitful and successful. Make me the head but not the tail. I pray that I come out the best in all that I do. You have promised that you are able to bless me at all times. Supply all my needs according to your riches in Christ Jesus. Let my blessings be manifested in alignment with your will for my life. I pray for your blessings to be seen at the works of my hands. Let everything that I do multiply and be fruitful. Open your windows of heaven and shower me with your blessings. Be my light and my salvation, Lord. 
Pour out your blessings upon me that I may see your beauty, feel your love, know your wisdom and experience your power. Please lead me on the path to prosperity and success. Help me to abide in you and experience your favor. Thank you that you make known your love and your purposes will stand. Your plans will not fail. Your word says that the blessings of the Lord bring favor and breakthrough. Let your blessings overflow in my life. Increase my faith in you, Lord, that I may experience your blessings. Psalm 119 verses 1 to 3 says that, Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong, but walk in his ways. Help me to seek you and walk in your ways, Lord, so that I will experience your wonderful blessings in my life. I declare that I am blessed and wonderfully favored. The favor of God is upon me everywhere I go. I pray, Father, that your face will continually shine upon me. Let your favor and your glory be upon me. Fill me with your supernatural favor, Lord. You are able to do far more than all that I ask or can ever imagine. Transform my life through your favor and blessings. May your grace, mercy, and peace be with me in truth and love. Psalm 90 verse 17 says, Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. I am thankful for your favor in my life. I declare that everywhere that I go, your favor will shine upon my life. Thank you for your favor and blessings in my life. Heavenly Father, I come before your throne of grace today. I'm in need of your favor and blessings in my life. Let my life be filled with your wonderful blessings everywhere I go. I commit my ways into your hands, Lord. I pray you to favor me among my peers. Let everything I lay my hands on be fruitful and successful. Make me the head but not the tail. I pray that I come out the best in all that I do. You have promised that you are able to bless me at all times. Supply all my needs according to your riches in Christ Jesus. Let my blessings be manifested in alignment with your will for my life. I pray for your blessings to be seen at the works of my hands. Let everything that I do multiply and be fruitful. Open your windows of heaven and shower me with your blessings. Be my light and my salvation, Lord. Pour out your blessings upon me that I may see your beauty, feel your love, know your wisdom and experience your power. Please lead me on the path to prosperity and success. Help me to abide in you and experience your favor. Thank you that you make known your love and your purposes will stand. Your plans will not fail. Your word says that the blessings of the Lord bring favor and breakthrough. Let your blessings overflow in my life. Increase my faith in you, Lord, that I may experience your blessings. Psalm 119 verses 1 to 3 says that, Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong, but walk in his ways. Help me to seek you and walk in your ways, Lord, so that I will experience your wonderful blessings in my life. I declare that I am blessed and wonderfully favored. 
The favor of God is upon me everywhere I go. I pray, Father, that your face will continually shine upon me. Let your favor and your glory be upon me. Fill me with your supernatural favor, Lord. You are able to do far more than all that I ask or can ever imagine. Transform my life through your favor and blessings. May your grace, mercy, and peace be with me in truth and love. Psalm 90 verse 17 says, Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. I am thankful for your favor in my life. I declare that everywhere that I go, your favor will shine upon my life. Thank you for your favor and blessings in my life. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen.